Okay, packing up, getting ready. Make sure everything's nice. Check out. So I've noticed this button for the refrigerator and uh, a few of the hotels. So when you use your refrigerator here, you gotta press that. Another beautiful day. Another day, another coffee. Hey, no, so Okay, so this path is the path that you can that you walk up to in the village. That path over there, I guess buses and cars can ride it. station out of service let's see if I can read that is that Rego Ka and that's Ha E oh I can't read that <laughs>
I always give you key. Oh, okay. oh, tennis club. West Hills Tennis Club. Okay. Pretty standard. Everything. Pretty standard. Well, I thought that was a closet. Um, check out what little view we have. Oh, they have these. Okay. Little closet doors. One of those. Just a view of the street. No lights. JR station right nearby. Okay. Okay, so one of the main differences I noticed is that you don't need to put the the key to power the room. Uh, the fridge isn't 
or is already on, so you don't need to press a button or anything. You still get the kettle though, which is cool. This is TV. <laughs> and a uh, portable air conditioner. So this, when it's closed, whoo, it's dark in here. So that's nice. That's a nice little feature. All right. Okay, so one unique thing about this hotel, this room, is this. It had, oh, 
It had like a, um, it's a massage chair. And one downside is, one thing I'm learning is that they don't really have a lot of plugs. They have like, I guess that's USB-C maybe. And they have just two plugs over here. I have my little adapter. But yeah, at least they have this, right? Press the hot button and the power button. And yeah, you got a little massage chair right there. <laughs> Direction. I had to turn it over and then this is where the massage things are and I guess it's for your back because I can't imagine sitting on this dude <laughs> Anyways So I won that uh, I actually went up to go see if there was a place where I could eat Because I saw like some terrace thing but that actually that was um, a cafe called terrace I'm getting some food, some steak, it's like a garlic rice bowl Garlic steak rice bowl. Uh, dropped a pair of chopsticks, but it's cool because I had a second one. Mm, what can I do right now? Oh, I got some barley tea. Barley tea I read is good for digestion. Um, when I can. Mm, That's a nice steak, huh? I should just eat there, dude. Mmm. That's a good steak. It really is. So anyways, I got that from um, Forest. The Forest uh, Food Center. Um, so let me see if I can find the restaurant. The, the Forest is right next to the Kanazawa JR station. And um, it is a mall. And there's a whole bunch of different forces. Pokemon Center there. There's San Rio. Mm, no. Lots of food. Lots of food. And I see some stuff that was there. Actually, no. So there's like six floors. The top floor is um, the theater, which is where I want to go. No, sixth floor is the food. That's where all the food is. That's like the food court. Seventh floor is where the theater is at. And that's where I won the little game, or that's where I played the little games when you And Pokemon Center, I believe, is on the fifth floor. So it's San Rio. Then there's like a Uniqlo on the fourth floor. There's a toilet from the second to the seventh floor. You got the smoking room on the sixth floor, coin lockers on multiple floors. It's all in the floor guide. I'm only going to be here for like a day, but it's, it was nice to explore a little bit. Mm. I'll wear my hat because I didn't do my hair. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Mm. Let's see. Really good. Oh, my steak? Oh, yeah, it's called Oh, my steak. I just found your seat. This is this one. Can I order the like, um, a steak, garlic, rice bowl. Mm. They have um, they have ramen here. A service, uh, free service ramen. It's included with the hotel. From uh, was it nine? Mm. So I still got Kyoto and then Osaka and Hiroshima. Hiroshima in the middle. Let's see, I'm excited to try the Godiva. I figured I need some protein though, man. It was all the walking. Plus, I had my backpack, which weighed like 20 pounds today. That's the thing about like going on vacation, huh? You kind of just or traveling, traveling on vacation. You kind of want to like not waste time, but you want to also be present. <coughs> like you, you don't want to be tired and forcing yourself, and then you might not enjoy it. Fortunately, I don't have to make that choice this time. I can rest. Mm hmm. On the rest. Mm. So this is the first town that I've seen people actually wearing like kimonos and stuff. I'm just like walking around, not even like um, a festival or anything, just actually wearing kimono. Oh cool. Can you experience it in your real life or whatever? And it's like, oh wow, that's cool. Here's a receipt. On my steak, 24.20 yen. 
120 Japanese yen is $15.79. So I got this for $15.79. Okay. Okay. And I just try to order in English, you know. Kind of shy, actually. But I make them a little bit Japanese so they know I know. Just to make it easier for them, too. Mm. There were some moments where, like, I just popped off with some Japanese and people were, like, a little bit taken aback and ecstatic. So I think that's cool. Hmm. Oh, is this a wet napkin? Our tour guide switched. They switched our tour guide. Before it was Chad, and now it's a uh, person named Nao. And Nao. The first would be Hasanmei, and now the second would be Hasanmei. Mm, I believe Chen was Chinese. And now. I believe he's Japanese. Yeah, I think someone complained about our, um, our first of our ten or something. Just, uh, I can't understand or something, they said. So, uh, I ended up writing, like, a, a message to support to, uh, the tour guide company. It was beautiful. The words just pour, pour out of me, straight from the heart. I didn't want someone to say to be ruined, you know? Delicious. Most of this part can get cut out. Takayama, uh, Takayama, Takayama. A beautiful city Takayama was. Yesterday in Takayama, uh, see what do I usually do? I just look stuff up on Google Maps, see what's around. For restaurants, I look up the ratings, see what I'm hungry for. Just uh, look at the reviews, see if they're uh, English friendly, because I'm not confident in my Japanese. And then, you know, see how the experience was for other people. See if, you know, the restaurant's okay with English people. Or, or even if, if it's just really like a place I want to go to, then I'll just go to it and I'll figure it out. I can always use Google Translate. Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna put it in English. And I searched it. Uh, pretty much this point. <laughs> like, I want this on the menu. My gosh, you know I got some treats from Godiva. Let's see. I just want to say one thing about the sweets in Japan. They give you like a little ice pack, which is nice because these, most of these desserts, they're best when chilled. They're best eaten when chilled, you know? Yeah, the ice pack is way nice. Two individual cakes from Godiva, neatly packaged with a little ice pack. Um, these are the price. So I also got these are cookies. So this chocolate is no tea. So one of these is a tiramisu, I believe, because I just looked it up. And the other one is called the opera. And yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, so these cakes are smaller than what I'd imagined them to be. They're more like little, little brownies. That's cool though. For 800 yen, what's that like? Based on conversion rate, maybe around four dollars. That's about right. Because <laughs> you get one about that size for about 10, 13 dollars in America. I kind of want to do a bang, but at the same time, I'm so tired. Delicious. This is the tiramisu. Mm hmm. It's amazing. I don't know if Godiva in the States has this. Alright, let's see how this thing is, dude. So we got the power button right here. I don't know if you hear it just turned on. So three settings one, two, three, or and the heater right here. And I guess I'm just gonna. Oh, that's nice. A little shiatsu. The tour company must have known, cause this is this is hitting the spot right now. I guess that's like the benefits of like, um, you know, going through a tour agency. They like kind of know the plan. They've seen it before. They've gone through it hundreds, millions of times. Maybe not millions. So I'm probably just gonna chillax on this. And then fall asleep and hopefully be rejuvenated for the next part of the adventure. Signing off.
Okay, so here's some of the info for this hotel. This ramen thing. It's a service they offer from 9.30 p.m. to 10.45. It's like free ramen. I didn't go though. Breakfast, uh, probably go to. Here, these are the amenities. Some stuff that you can get from the front desk. Umbrella, extension cord, iron. Just the standard stuff, I guess. Free services. Vending machine, second floor. Uh... Microwave oven, 2 through 12. Mm, electric shoe polisher. Paid lending service. Baggage delivery. That's for like, I think when you send to like the airport and stuff, you don't have to carry your baggage around on the trains, etc. Uh, I did my research and it says like, that's recommended. So I'll probably use that when I go home. But not from this hotel. Um, the Shiatsu thing stopped working on me. So. I don't know. And the, the plug is hot, so it's probably because of that. Probably just needs a break, hopefully. Coin massager, copy fix machine. Okay, okay. I guess that's all. Alrighty. I'm gonna go to the new machines. Okay, so my room is right there. It looks like the vending machines are in public bath. Vending machines. Some art from the 10th floor. This is his door, right? Hmm. <laughs> a little map of Kanazawa. Uh, vending machine selection. Pretty good stuff. The standard. You got the microwave oven here. I guess they have it on every floor. They have uh, the vending machine on. Some plastic bags in case you need it. And yeah. Um, I'm not sure entirely what this is. Power cord. That's the day. So earlier, right when I first checked in and I was making that video, I left my key in the door the whole time. Someone from the tour was asking me, hey, who's even 10.30? I was like, dude, that was me. I know I left my key in the door. Found out later. But thank goodness nothing happened, you know? All right. That is the end of... I don't know what channel this is or what's playing, but... That... I just turned on the TV before I was playing orchestra, right? Right now, randomly, it's playing some kind of show that's talking about parfaits. How to make parfaits, how to perfect parfaits. Is there anything with the chefs or something? Mm -hmm.